<laughs> how has sports psychology evolved? Is it, well, I mean, let me tell you, my first interface with sports psychology was close your eyes and think of an apple. Uh, and then it, it sort of evolved to close your eyes and think of a waves lapping against the shore. Uh, and it then, it then sort of developed from there. I mean, the, the bottom line was in the early days, it was psychologists with an interest in, in, in sport, as was sports medicine was, was a, a GP or an orthopod who was interested in sport. Uh, and what we've now evolved to are specialists in performance. We've got specialist psychologists who understand performance, not only performance in general, but now actually becoming sports-specific uh, psychologists, and also even within that discipline specific. So w what we are doing is we're moving towards a much more specialised approach, a much greater understanding of what is required for performance. And I think also on top of that is that we've got this breadth of psychology that's not just about individuals uh, or indeed just team around team cohesion and those type of concepts, but it's also about institutional psychology. What is the coach-athlete interface? What is the interface of the athlete with the sport? What is the structure of the support around the athlete? And, and at one end of the spectrum, at the other end of the spectrum, clinical psychology, the importance of actually clinical support for athletes who are no different to the general population have clinical issues. Uh, and so I, I think what, what I see now is, is a much broader but a much more specific and expert population of sports psychologists working with sport.